it is prepared of the Father. Matthew chapter 20 verses 23. Vision Matthew 2023 is an interdenominational TV and radio program featuring seasoned gospel ministers and Christian leaders within and outside Aquaibum with the aim of positioning the body of Christ to play our expected biblical roles towards good governance. Matthew 2023 and says that nobody can become anything until God gives him the ability. The defense of the gospel, the official partners of Vision Matthew 2023, it's powerful. The Bible said the way that sin made right to a man, the end may be death. Inspiring. God does not allow us, does not even permit us that somebody comes and just teach you a thing and you do not also go back, go back to back check the right scripture. Exactly. Inciting. Because he is eternally a loving God. So lifting. And fight the Amalek. And he went, told him, it was the failure of Saul that made Saul to be rejected. Bible focus program you can't afford to me. They speak out when anything happens in the in the country on the state. They still speak out. Said what you are doing is bad. Uh, Elijah told uh, uh, Ahab. What you are doing is bad. The defense of the gospel, an interdenominational TV and radio program that features seasoned gospel ministers with the aim of providing answers to current social, political, and spiritual issues and the role of the church, sponsored by Remedy for Victims of Religious Persecution and Discrimination, RVRPND. Airing live on AKBC TV and radio and on Star Times channel 113. Time is 2 p.m. every Thursday. Repeat broadcast on Saturdays and on AKBC radio by 4 p.m. and AKBC TV by 5 p.m. Watch live on Facebook at The Defense of the Gospel and on YouTube at G247 TV. Contact information, WhatsApp 0913-510-5983. The Defense of the Gospel. The official partners of Vision Matthew 2023. Well, it's often said it is better be late than never. That is late or you stay away. But if you cannot meet up, then it's unfortunate. We are glad we are here today. It's the defense of the gospel. And we are back on your L down life as it is right now. Well, we should have started this at exactly 2 p.m. for some classified reasons, but we're here and glad that we are here. Many thanks for staying tuned. If you just join us, this is the Defense of the Gospel on your television. That is on AKBC Channel 45 on the terrestrial platform. And on the satellite, you can uh, get us on Star Times Channel 113. We're also on radio, on Radio Aquibo 90.5 FM. Of course, we are also online. You can check us out on the Facebook, Defense of the Gospel Radio on Facebook and on YouTube on G247 TV. Having said that, my pleasure to welcome you on the program. My name is Etu Ikon, as always, I'm the anchor. And it promises to be another exciting moment today with a topic as interesting as it is. Let's take a look. The importance of the diaspora voice in state building. The importance of diaspora voice in state building. That's a topic for today. And our text is taken from Nehemiah chapter 2 verse 5. It's interesting, no doubt about that. So, and guess what? I'm so happy and so privileged today to have this very revered gentleman talking about the clergymen that are here to do justice to this topic. First, let me get us introduced to none other than the principal of this academy, or you like it, <laughs> this institution, or uh, this program, as the case may be. It's also the Center for Peace, Democracy, and Development. He's also the National Publicity Secretary of Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria. And a whole lot might be if I want to count them, but I'm not going to go that far. So let's stop there. Ladies and gentlemen, join me as a welcome. Bishop Dr. Emma Gospel is on to the program. Daddy, welcome to the program. Thank you so much. I was thinking of introducing somebody else. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I just have to stop a little. It was, was getting too big. No, it was just a little. <laughs> <laughs> Tip of the asphalt. Thank you. Welcome to the program. It's been a while. Glad true, to have true, you. True, but I'm glad to be here. All right, welcome. 
We also have a very, very important personality also with us here, coming all the way from Lagos State, Nigeria. And he's of the Brooks Worship Center, Lagos. We're glad to have him. Let's welcome Reverend Chris Mbo. Welcome, man of God. Thank you so much, my brother. Yes. Thank you, my bishop, for having me with you today. Welcome, sir. So, like I said, the, part, the, the topic says the importance of the diaspora voice in state building. Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 5. Let's get started. We often hear of Ibom diaspora voice. Ibom diaspora voice. I, I'd like you to please give us a sense of who are the Ibom diaspora voice and why must they have a voice? Like we said, a voice in diaspora. Why must they have a voice even when they are considered? outside their nation or states of origin let me get started with you as always bishop yeah let's uh <coughs> remember uh, the our text today nehemiah 2 5 uh, and i said unto the king if it pleases the king and if thy servant have found favor in thy sight that thou wouldest send me unto judah unto the city of my fathers unto the sepulchre that i may build it uh, this is nehemiah in diaspora speaking about the state of the de de uh, you know deterioration of uh, the walls and the city of jerusalem uh, so that the diaspora ibum diaspora voice for uh, for instance is aquibum sons and daughters uh, who are great men and women in business and especially ministry uh, who have established and distinguished themselves in several uh, aspects and uh, they are also a voice in the nation in the international communities and they synergize harmonize themselves to participate in what is happening in their hometown for instance we have here today reverend chris Mbo, uh, <laughs> yeah. seasoned teacher of the world uh, a, a, a finance expert educationist and everything you can talk about how have we used him how have we uh, you know received him into building up his own state aquibum he's from aquibum but uh, bangladesh is calling him as the last time i heard wow. uh, yes different nations are calling him or even in uh, kigali in rwanda they are calling him switzerland, switzerland to present papers but if you ask anybody on akaro you know chris Mbo, he may not That's remember right. so how do we bring back these brands hmm. uh, gospel giants we have one in uh, california one of the greatest names in california reverend in open is from Uyo here sure, sure. <laughs> so but how do we bring him i want us to destroy the mentality that the only ministers and the people we have in aquibom are those who have churches in Uyo or in Ukraine, panel in Ukrainian. They are great people, but we have great sons and daughters all over the world, spread in Lagos, Kaduna, and they have mighty ministries. Somebody came to our company at the Christian Central Chapel, and it's like, wow, where is this man from? They say, I don't believe it. But our people don't even know those people exist. So, and I'm glad, I want to thank God for uh, the governor of Aquibum State. Uh, he couldn't Udom Gabriel Emmanuel, uh, who, who is a gift of diaspora to Aquibum. And of course, recently uh, you've seen what he's doing. He's harmonizing, unifying the state. I think almost all the governors of Aquibum came from diaspora. I, I hope I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Almost uh, all, include, yes, yeah. including yeah. the doctor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even uh, Goswell Aquabio mm -hmm. came from diaspora. And right. I don't want to mention current names because mm -hmm. these are people that distinguish themselves across diaspora who came and influenced the state so there's energy and talent in the diaspora voice and we are trying to see how we can tap into that like nehemiah mm -hmm. and build our people it's very important okay you you, you mentioned a few people but you refuse to mention your name also yes. the diaspora voice. <laughs> 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 you're not in I thank you for that <laughs> very yeah well. we appreciate you for that yeah uh, reverend chris he, uh, bishop has just said something very important how to tap into the potentials of these diaspora voices of which you are uh, he just mentioned that uh, many countries are looking for you including australia kigali and all of that so how do we tap into these potentials would you like to take us through that oh well it's about everything is about the desire to get things done and then to know what do i have 
You know, if you don't realize what you have, you can use it. So it's for for us at home and us in the diaspora to create an enabling environment. So I incidentally, for a very long time, from my youth service, I, I've been in the corporate finance world. And at some point, uh, and also preaching the gospel, and at some point, I zeroed in on in what we call inclusive finance. Now, everything is about the principle of inclusiveness. Mm -hmm. So if you break the wall, open the wall, and then begin to include those who are outside. Because sometimes, you know, you are out, out there, and you have so many things to think about, to contribute. And then you come around, and it's like there's a brick wall. So what do you do? You retreat. Just retreat. And confine yourself to what you're doing. So we need an enabling environment to bring back the principle of inclusiveness so that each and every one of us is given an enabling That's what I think we should be looking at right now. Aquaibum has brains. Aquaibum has great achievers. Aquaibum has a lot of medical doctors in Lagos that are doing so well. That's true. But you, Oftentimes we are not we are not hearing of them, and because some of the experiences is that uh, oh, I went home and I just saw the way things were going, and I just said I don't want to embarrass myself. Let me confine myself to what I'm doing. So we need that enabling environment. Mm. We need we need to open up the system so that we can tap into the wisdom, the exposure. You know, um, if you are an achiever. In Uyo, and you are an achiever in Abuja. I guess the the demographics of achievement mm. is a little bit different because because you can achieve in, in Lagos when you survive five years, you know you have really survived. Uh, you know how terrible that city is. Mm. Oh, very well. Oh yes, very well. So uh, for you to achieve there, then if you are given an opportunity back home. You will but I, I tell people here when I every time I'm, I'm here, I'm like, ask you have good roads, and the roads are free. You can move <laughs> at will, and you can keep up to ten appointments in Aquaibo. You can That's try true. that out there. You keep <laughs> only one appointment or one and a half. <laughs> you know, very interesting. Yeah, you you made mention of something. We need that inclusiveness. You also said that uh, the brick wall does not allow yeah. the diaspora to exercise, to do what they're supposed to do, to explode, to bring out the best in them. And you also said something about contributing to the state, mm. which of course is the nation building, the state building we're talking about, and then opening up. How do we, or what do you suggest, mm. what would you say, how would we go about this, all of these factors meditating against this in diaspora, being what they should be, or coming up to exercise what they have? Like you, the financial experts, such, such, you know, a capacity, Yet we are not having you in, in the states con uh, contributing. So what do you think or what can be done to bring about this? A lot can be done. Yes. For example, what Bishop is doing is one of them. He's opening the awareness. Mm. He's opening the consciousness mm. that, listen, we who are here back home, we have our sons and daughters out there. Out there. In America, in Australia, in London, everywhere. and within Nigeria outside of Kwaibo, who have distinguished themselves. So let there be an extension of fellowship. Extend the hand of fellowship towards these people. Mm. Call them. Find out who are those outside. Get in touch with Bishop. Bishop, you, I, I don't know how Bishop does it. I, in fact, when he brought us together, I was like, this man, something is is an <laughs> extraordinary human being because Thank you. Yeah, the names all over the world. Mm. I'm like, wow, this yeah. is intense. So this is the platform mm. to reach out to these great sons and daughters. I was um, there are some that are coming in quietly on their own. For example, you know, I've been here for close to 15 years, coming here mm. every other week and investing and investing in wow. the state. Wow! And yeah. I have empowered more than 11,000 very Quietly. poor people. Is that done nicodemously? Or is there any other <laughs> we are way? hearing it now. <laughs> I'm hearing it now. Not nicodemously, <laughs> <laughs> privately. Okay. Because okay. you see, 
is because everybody is not called to be in politics. Mm. So I, I'm called to preach, and because I have an expertise, so mm. I'm like I've done almost everything, back. everything in Lagos. So about 15 years ago, I said, no, I need to look at home. Wherever you go to, you must return home. That's true. So I came back home and I started investing, and we started a microfinance bank, and we use that platform to reach out to the very poor. And for me to do that, I don't need to make noise about it. Well, I'm going to make the noise now. <laughs> Let me come to Bishop. Bishop Ibom Diaspora Voice. It has come to stay. What are we expecting? Can you explode this for us? Just get us through it. Okay, let, let me take it uh, on scriptural perspective. And then I will delve into what Reverend Chris uh, has spoken about. He, he mentioned inclusiveness yes. and the brick world. So remind me if I forget Very that. But yes. scripturally, John chapter 10, verse 16, uh, is, is, is said, I read, and other sheep I have, Jesus is speaking, which are not of this fold, mm. them also I must bring, and then they shall hear my voice. That's where the voice comes and the boom, diaspora voice. Okay. They shall hear my voice, and there shall be one, one fold. That is, uh, no matter the political party, mm -hmm. no matter the 31 local government area, no matter the uh, profession, and one shepherd. Um, then you look at Luke chapter 4, I think verse 16. The Bible says Jesus also went to where he grew up, he went to where he was brought up, Nazareth. To, mm -hmm. to, and the opening scripture, they gave him that inclusiveness. They gave him participation. Mm -hmm. Because the brick wall is what is hindering that I, I want to borrow Reverend Chris one. The brick world is what is hindering an Aquibomite who is in ministry, who is in, in diaspora to want to even say something because we interpret everything here politically. When we set up that platform where all Aquibom sons doing great work of God all over the world are participating. Uh, one of the things somebody asked me, inbox me, is uh, which political party are we backing? Mm -hmm. I said, let's first of all have sure. a voice. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see, because Aquabomites don't differentiate between politics and governance. Mm -hmm. Politics is electioneering. Governance is the people. That is whether you are APC, PDP, or Labour Party, or YPP. Mm -hmm. When politics finish, we have to come together to build a great nation, a great people called Aquabom. We should not mix the two uh like nehemiah we are talking about mm. nehemiah had a burden it's about a burden what diaspora voice is about it's about a burden and maybe later in this program we'll talk about someone like an uh of the carol festival mm. what he's yeah. planning mm. he's planning something big for us yeah. uh in terms of on that day he wants us to to be heard he wants us to be seen he has made us heard already yes because yeah. you see the aquarium yes, the the aquarium mm. person loves visitors a lot but let them also know that uh you have sons and daughters who are ambassadors i remember second corinthians 5 verse 20 he said for ye are ambassadors of christ we are like ambassadors i stay in crossover state mm. i've influenced about 51 nations of the world sure. and they asked me i was born in Uran. i come from econo and my mother is Ikorupene, and my wife is from Eket, mm. and my daughter is married to you. So I wanted to frighten you a little yeah, bit, yeah, yeah, so that you, so, so, that, <laughs> so that you know that I'm a full sure, Anang uh, man. That's right. I'm an Uran man. Mm -hmm. I'm an Ibibio man, yes. and I am an Uyo man. Mm -hmm. So you see all that embody in one person. So my voice matters a lot in the in the in the con reconstruction of the real aquabum you know so i think the diaspora man is more free in fact if the diaspora man speaks more of how to influence his people than which local government he comes from yes like chris you you, you, will, you will never know where he come from mm -hmm. but his businesses are even in <laughs> you here they feel more yeah. if he wants to consider where he come from his businesses should go straight into the so so we should bring in the diaspora voice they are the peaceful voice because they have experienced things the diaspora voice are the most unbiased voice. Yeah. He has traveled. The diaspora voice has seen things. He, he has comparative anal analysis of things. When, when we came in here, we sat in your studio. We love your studio, but we're like, oh, we need to suggest this. We need to suggest this. Mm -hmm. That's the diaspora voice. He having gone, don't forget, in the Bible, almost every key actor in the Bible was a diaspora. Joseph was diaspora. Mm -hmm. At the point Jesus was diaspora, Moses was diaspora. I don't know whom you are going to mention who was not diaspora. Even Paul, the apostle, was diaspora. Even Naomi, Esther, Ruth, 
Yeah. That was I, think, I think the whole Bible. And, and, and then there is, there, is, ahead, there is this concept in the corporate world, which they say if you stay in the place and you've been working for so long, mm. go on a retreat. Why do you have to go to a retreat? Get off the scene. Mm. Retreat. Relax. See from a distance, mm. you will see. A I like that. Seeing from distance, from a distance, you can see things mm. you couldn't see at a close range. Mm. So, when you return, you now are able, like, okay, mm -hmm. when I was away, this is what I, I was able to see, you know, away from the scene of the challenges and mm. all that. So, a diaspora person mm. who is out there mm. is able to see things you have not been able to see mm. just yeah, because you are yeah. too close to mm. where the yeah. spot is. Mm. I have a question. In that scene, that scene affair, and then bringing in, he said something about the brick wall, he said something about opening up, and he said something about the atmosphere, and of course, opening the system. Now, what about a situation where the diaspora will come with all their ideas after they have seen affair and want to contribute? And it's frustrated. Yeah, hmm. they talk about the state building. It's and it's being frustrated mm. by those that are already holding brief, and they feel, oh, because they feel they've been threatened. aware, they feel threatened, and sometimes mm. they, they even claim local champion. What do you know that we do not know? Wow. So what what happens? Why do we merge that? How would that's we bring that to <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> well, I, I I wish we were discussing this in private. <laughs> <laughs> but we need to know. You, you can know. quote the answer. <laughs> <laughs> you know because somehow I ought to believe that mm. that notion is getting broken somehow. Um, because if you notice that you keep doing the same thing round in the cycle and you're getting the same, same result, result I think which it's insanity is it's insanity mm. and I think somebody should be able to say okay let me welcome fresh ideas mm. and it's happening mm. really it's happening mm. because I, I, I had experience uh, seven years ago we came into this town and a very uh, the man from our Kwaibo that is even very close to Joe Biden the current president mm. His house can you here. imagine I, I've been we to have such yes. yes that's what I, we are talking I, I, about I, wow. I have been to his house you see uh, this year i've slept in his house in in, in america and his house is look there. at opportunity and, 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 and uh, joe biden's house is there imagine and then they just came in and it was like you know wow he was talking to somebody a dg in an establishment i said this is what i think we need to do we need to do, we need to do. the person was, okay 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 no problem and then when he left as soon as he left the office he said, we have been laboring. Mm. You, know, you want to come and eat? You see. That kind of mentality. So, and the guy had, and he quietly went back. And this is a man that, you, if you don't wash your hand well out there, you can't touch him. You can't touch him. Mm. So, Such opportunity. I believe that what we need to do hmm. is to have a, this reorientation. Of our people. And then delete this issue of complex mm. out of i've been on ground been on ground we are the ones here this is how we do it we will make we must make sure we block you you know you I'm, just arrived yeah, for me i look at it oh you, you're trying to block me ah, i did not come because of what to eat i came because i wanted to contribute many diaspora have already eaten well <laughs> they have already eaten well they are eating they, they you look know well fed do you know i noticed something i was in scotland three months ago and I ran into a, a guy from a Senudim. Imagine. And he is on top of Europe decarbonization project. Right. And you know the That's the, where the, United Nations is focused. The trajectory right is now. Right on as carbon. I'm talking to you now. Of course. I am the chief financial controller for Africa decarbonization project. Ooh. To be financed. <laughs> By Goldman Sachs. I had to adjust my seat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see him after this. <laughs> I'm privileged. So we yeah. won't let you go. Yeah. So, so we, and like, there are many of us. So, wow. Yeah. We were we were moving from from England to Scotland, and then we were only two blacks in the in the in the cabin. And then suddenly, uh, a phone rang. 
I, I thought it was from Jamaica because of the way he looks and mm. all that. So when the phone rang, he spoke the language about Bible. I said, "We can't blow it now." The guy just asked me, "Can I see?" He said, "Bro," I said, oh. "Imagine it! I'm imagining that." <laughs> so a five and a half, five and a half hours what? journey on train to it Glasgow. And throughout. <laughs> we started just <laughs> and then we. So when he told me what he was. What he was doing, he was going on holiday in the weekend from the walk. He had to go to Scotland to go and rest and then return to England the following week. We started talking and I was like, oh, we have people like you. So people like this, I told him, okay, I'm going to connect you to my team in, the, in New York. I have to, have to make a call and they are waiting for him because we need to decarbonize. And the people we are working with, we are looking for hands here. The people we are working with out there from Ghana and a lot of them are from Ghana, mm. you know. So why? And do you know where the carbon stock is? The carbon mm. stock is around it's, our catchment. It's seventy percent in Crossover yeah, State. Crossover, Crossover has that. Yes, Crossover Kwaibo. Wow. Yes. So the earlier we open up to our, bro our brothers and sisters in diaspora, in diaspora yes, the better for us. His lordship, this is a very good. I must say, I think it's one of the best you've done so far. As yeah, always, we've always yeah. been on top yeah. of this now. That thank you. Now you brought this to, to to bear. What's the way forward? Apart from having them on our program as it is now, is there any forum or a fora that you need to display and bring about a boom diaspora voice? Have yeah, you done that. And what yeah, we're about to do that. that? The to the, the boom diaspora voice. Uh, we are still very new. We are not new to ourselves, mm. but the platform is still new and uh, we are discussing a um, way forward. But let me tie up with what Reverend Chris said scripturally about that friction. That I don't know how where Reverend Chris got that word brick wall. I want to emphasize it. Yeah, it's a brick wall because you are right. There's a guy who, who brought hospital to Kanafon. He died. He died mysteriously. He came the pressure, the attack. I don't want to say spiritual attack. Mm. Uh, forgotten the name of that hospital he brought one of the biggest hospital and university hospital mm -hmm. and uh, he died uh, mysteriously we need to appreciate and open the door jesus said i stand at the door and knock mm -hmm. if any man hear my voice and open and diaspora is a voice mm -hmm. you need to hear our voice and open mm -hmm. if you don't open we won't enter mm -hmm. jesus said i will enter and sob with you mm -hmm. That's something that maybe we would need to interpret that in mm. business. We are going to have a seminar in 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 a, in a, the near future, a seminar that will make us to interface with our people back home. Because uh, Luke chapter fifteen, I don't know if you've read about the prodigal son. Uh, let me bring that scriptural perspective. Luke fifteen twenty six to twenty nine. Do you know the problem of the prodigal son was not the father? No, it wasn't. It was the brother. The father received him. Bible said, when the father saw him, mm. he ran at a distance, Reverend, and yeah. embraced him. Sir, if you read that Luke 15, 26 to 29, you see that the Bible said the brother oh, was angry. He was angry. And I said, why? Wow. See, what opportunity to have back your brother. A lot of advantage. One, you can ask him, brother, I was a far country. <laughs> <laughs> Number if, two. If you succeeded or failed. Uh, uh, Number two. Uh, but welcome can, can you give me the visa to travel with you? because now it looked like the brother back home wow. was now seeing the return of his brother as a threat the no the father saw it as opportunity to reconcile his brothers mm -hmm. so i see that senior wow. brother as home best mm -hmm. i saw the uh, is it the old dog what do you call it yeah. as <laughs> that's 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 we are, we are not <laughs> <your dog>. <laughs> 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 yeah, I saw him as a diaspora guy yeah. who came back with a lot of ideas. Mm. That guy came back equipped. If you notice, yes, sir. the father gave him shoes, gave him ring. Yep. But we don't want to talk about what yeah. that means. Mm. Gave him, he, he killed the fatted calf mm. and said, and played music and celebrated him. So, what Reverend Chris is saying is that let our people, including the government of Aquaibum, celebrate their diaspora it's, it's wonderful to have people come all over the world and participate in the carol and participate in seminars and bring us back people love visitors a lot i love it 
I love it. We know Osana Sene. We are known for that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, is it, oh, did, you, did your father have Osana Sene or something oh, like that? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and you did not go near it. And you really did not go near Osana Sene. Sure. <laughs> so we want to tell our people that in as much as we celebrate visitors, Monu Nege, Monokosa, we love good people. I love. In fact, we should celebrate visitors. You know why? Mm. We are visitors in another land. Yes. And they are celebrating us. Yeah. They could celebrate visitors and forget. Get your children. Your, your own brother. brothers. Yes, when you come to home, you want to establish. Please say microphone I'm Reverend Chris Bose. Ah, Mbo, Chris, that's somewhere around here. Mm. Then somebody can say, I'm Chine to uh Olua. Let's say, Oh God, he must be better than Reverend Chris. Mm. It's not true. And here we call it called Emma Song. Ah, young boy. And here we call it called Olu Sole Olainka. Oh my God, he's going to be more anointed than Emma Song. That's the aspect we want to break. Mm. Want to break that mentality later people still celebrate yes, um, you let them continue to have osana senna mm. you know because my father beat me up one day for touching osana senna <laughs> you know so 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 what we are saying is that the prodigal son's scenario prodigal son you know welcome your brother in diaspora welcome your brother that's outside doesn't mean you are not important that guy felt threatened he felt be little mm -hmm. why why are you coming back why are you even coming somebody has asked me before in second for say yeah go yum yeah somebody has asked me in second for yeah yeah go yum go get back and i'm like oh wow. my god he doesn't wow. get it mm. it doesn't i'm the national public secretary of pfn all over nigeria mm. i have influence and i can bring in pentecostal fathers to this town in five minutes i can meet up with the who is who in gospel pentecostalism my coming to you, I'm opening doors for you. Reverend Chris and other of our members who are, you know, in the platform, they can bring in businesses. They can bring in, let's just work together and the land will be better. That's the idea. Let me find out something, this diaspora voice, about diaspora voice. Is it um strictly religious only no men of god no can, can the, plat the platform is, is for men of god mm. but we re you know this akisan yeah. akisan takes care of american based yes, yes. acquired minds which is highly social cultural mm, yeah. they are they are they are their yeah. jurisdiction is not what we are doing okay they are highly social cultural they really uh, focus on education. I've I've had opportunity to participate two years ago in Akisan conference. Mm -hmm. I think it was in uh, Atlanta. I took the opening prayers, so I understand their vision. Mm -hmm. Akisan is all over the place. They are doing well, but we are talking of the voice. Akisan cannot be a spiritual voice, mm -hmm. giving us a prophetic direction, uh, understanding how to counsel our people, and delving into business mm -hmm. as we are here. Yeah, opening up doors mm -hmm. for our people. So we are mainly. Um, Aquabum sons who are impacting their different cities and states in diaspora. Mm. We are impacting our cities and states. We delve into religion and business. Without impacting cities and states, I'd like to find out something. What's the role of the diaspora in state building? Apart from that, in, in our what state building. Saying, in our own state okay. building. So, uh, how do we contribute to major decisions? We we'll talked about election, we we'll talked about yeah. policies, we we'll talked about remittances and economy and many other things. How do we bring this? You know to focus and then we'll see how we can also invest like you said microfinance bank and all of that please i'd like to find out this as well well for me i believe that as we are looking at the next dispensation mm. it's important let us marry diaspora into it mm. that's powerful let's open the gateway that's what i can say interesting yeah because that's powerful if you don't open the gateway they will still come in, but they will come in as visitors and, 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 and enter their father's house and go away. That's true. Mm. That's you true. Know? But looking at the uh, the benefit of synergy, mm. I've always said, uh, I know, the, you know, Bishop, the Bishop you're saying here is a first class. Mm. Mm. Banking. Very well. <laughs> yeah, very you, know, well. you know about I know, I know. It's first class. Mm. Now, what he knows what he knows mm. if the opportunity is not created mm. he will not benefit it will be quiet you know what they call inside synergy one plus one is not equal to two mm. you should know that mm. yes so if the gateway is not open he will still come as one hmm. check into hotel and go back home but when, you, when as we are entering into the new dispensation mm. where are we going that's powerful. How do we intend to get this thing? Because we have so we, there's so much to be done, mm. to be achieved. So, 
recognize the diasporans. You can institutionalize the diaspora. Institutionalize There's nothing it. wrong in an agency being created. Yes, an agency the diaspora, can even yes. be created. Be created. Mm. So, yes. so, after at the federal level, they have an agency for that. Yeah. Oh, sure. So why not we replicate sure. it at state level? At the state level, yeah. and then mm. you begin to scout for That's this diaspora. You just made a statement yeah. Yeah. to replicate, replicate. the diaspora. The federal government already has yeah. it. And at the state level, yes. Yes. we don't have it at the state. So that if we have these people, if there is a, if there is an agency like that, then they will begin to source for these people. What can you come? What can you do? Then we look at it. Mm. Direct investment uh, coming in. How can we get it? Uh, let's use the diaspora agency to sell, to source for these people also. Mm. And all that. Particularly the sons and daughters. Then we should take this message to His Excellency the Governor. Yeah, we can I, have this honestly. under the office of the yeah. governor. Yes, and it, it, it should be directly under the office of the governor. It should be directly under the office of the governor. Oh, sure. You know? Because from what you've said now, the things we've heard, a whole lot are out there that are not even yet in the uh diaspora voice right yeah. which we can get them and from there we'll be able to contribute like you said to what is happening in the country yeah. in our states as well i must thank you so much but we'll just um let's let's take a break because a whole lot of people are waiting to be part of it now okay and then when we come back from the break our phone lines will be open where you can also join us and be a part of the program it's still the defense of the gospel today is very important and uh, we are coming up with a topic that is as interesting as anything the importance of the diaspora voice in state building. We'll take a break, we'll be right back, stay with us. Twenty verses 23. Vision Matthew 2023 is an interdenominational TV and radio program featuring seasoned gospel ministers and Christian leaders within and outside Aquaibum with the aim of positioning the body of Christ to play our expected biblical roles towards good governance. Matthew 2023 that says that nobody can become anything until God gives him the ability. The Defense of the Gospel, the official partners of Vision Matthew 2023, it's powerful. The Bible said the way that sin made right to a man, the end may be death. Inspiring. God does not allow us, does not even permit us that somebody comes and just teach you a thing and you do not also go back go to back check the right, scripture. Exactly. Inciting. <laughs> Because he is eternally a loving God. So lifting. And he went, told him, it was the failure of Saul that made Saul to be rejected. Bible focused program you can't afford to me. They speak out when anything happens in the in the country on the state. They still speak out. Said what you are doing is bad. Uh, Elijah told uh, uh, Ahab. What you are doing is bad. The Defense of the Gospel, an interdenominational TV and radio program that features seasoned gospel ministers with the aim of providing answers to current social, political, and spiritual issues and the role of the church, sponsored by Remedy for Victims of Religious Persecution and Discrimination, RVRPND. Airing live on AKBC TV and radio and on Star Times Channel 113. Time is 2 p.m. every Thursday. Repeat broadcast on Saturdays and on AKBC Radio by 4 p.m. and AKBC TV by 5 p.m. Watch live on Facebook at The Defense of the Gospel and on YouTube at G247 TV. Contact information WhatsApp 0913 510 5983. The Defense of the Gospel. The official partners of Vision Matthew 2023. Welcome back. It's still the defense of the gospel on your radio and television. Well, it's been a very interesting topic we have today. The importance of the diaspora voice in state building. And I still have my distinguished panelist right here, uh, Bishop Dr. M.I. Song, and of course, Reverend Chris Bohr and we are talking a whole lot on diaspora and just before the break take these numbers and then of course we have said we'll be calling the numbers for you so they can also call us right away and make you a part of the program the numbers to call are 0703-046-0588 take that again 0703-046-0588 and 0913 
0913-510-5983. That is 0913-510-5983. Those lines gain you access to the program straight away. And please do well to call and then ask any question as we're turning to the topic. Or if you feel like asking on something else, please go ahead. But please do remember to turn down the volume of your sets. That is whichever device you listen to us from once your phone starts ringing. So we can have a clear conversation. And of course, be the carols in whatever you have to say. All right, still the program, the defense of the gospel. And just before the break, we have said something off the mic. And that has been on the importance i mean the essence of how do we benefit from diaspora creation or how do we have these people in diaspora contribute and um one of us said something about a state that is already at the top of nigeria right now and i said okay we must bring that on and see how we can uh, also discuss this for our people to hear so the reverend christian said something about lagos states how they began and what uh, diaspora has been able to uh, contribute to that state would you let us into that as well well, like I said before, you see, in Lagos State, you mm. notice that governors, people contributing, are not Lagosians. Mm. They are not Lagosians. Even. So, yes. that anybody that they know mm. has something to contribute mm. is invited into the As governance. a capacity. The capacity. The capacity. The, the brain is there. Mm. Not where and you they, come from. So, it's not where you come from. So, they, what they do is they sit back and scout for best hands, best brains, best initiatives, and they have de defined the goal post this is what we want to achieve hmm. Hmm. then the question is who do we bring in to help us so the first thing to do is create the vacancies I, i've always said vacancy is not come and chop mm. it's not food is ready it's about we have a problem we have issues we want to solve so who can we bring in to solve this problem? Mm -hmm. So we must, and well, in as much as we don't want to go too far, we are saying, we are advocating, we have our brothers, our sisters outside. Let's create an agency that looks for them. And, and, and interferes with them. Interfaces with them and come bring them into partisanship. So uh, apart from creating this, uh, even if we don't have these, our brothers and sisters with brands, in the capacity out there, we may not reach out to them. Even diaspora voice can be in supply. Of course. I'm of sure, course. Uh, yes, of course. Yes, yes. because uh, with this, it's very easy. Just give us the demand. Exactly. We, do, we do the supply. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are ready for your calls <laughs> now. The numbers still remain 0913-510-5983. And 0703-046-0588. Call us right now and be a part of the program. And uh, let me find out, uh, Bishop, you did say something about the Ibom Carol, uh, Christmas Carol Night, as uh, a renowned internationally rated program that has also brought a quibble into focus. Now, how does that bear well with what we're talking about here? Uh, the Carol Festival has been a uh one of the major uh, motivators for the Boom Diaspora Voice. We, we, we watch it outside mm. and we appreciate it. We sit down with friends and watch it. Uh, last time I watched it, uh, apart from the one I attended, I watched it from the US and I watched it with friends in, uh, in uh, Houston. Wow. Yes, so it's, it's a very powerful reason why we even looked back home, the Carol Festival and Kudos to organizers, kudos to their excellencies, and kudos to those who put it together. Mm. So, uh, back to what we're discussing. Uh, remember our key scripture, uh, John ten sixteen. There, there are other sheep who are not here. We should bring them to join. And you know, we are talking about not only attending the uh, the carol. We talk about using the carol as a way to market a quiet bomb state. Is 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 a it's a very strong marketing strategy because when once you have the good name good name uh, brings investment but people want to go to invest in a place that has good name and the carol uh, is telling people this is a place of hospitality festivity christianity a place where you can come home 
so uh, so investors are watching the carol uh, you need you need to know millions of people you know it's in the guinness book of record yeah, sure. so they, yeah. they are coming to invest in aquabum court see the carol they, they see a very lively people uh, <laughs> and uh, somebody who is an ambassador i won't mention which country mm. called me last two weeks and like bishop is someone you are aware of aquabum carol i've been invited i said your excellency i am part of aquabum carol i'm from aquabum he said oh are you from Aquabum? I thought you best in Calabas. Yes, best in Calabas. <laughs> but from Aquabum, he said, "Okay, I'm going to consider coming." They just invited me. You can see how powerful that is. Mm. So, so that that it needed a diaspora voice to tell an ambassador of a country. He asked me that in confidence because he never knew much about the Carol. He's a new ambassador in the country. Mm. I said, "You can come, Your Excellency, and if you don't mind, I can." i can i can you know sit with you that day and and teach you the language he said oh i would like to come so this is a powerful medium mm. to unite it's a way of unification because people that come to attend the carol they come from different parts of the world they come from different political party you're going to see people from apc pdp mm. white people sure. nobody remembers party that day oh, sure. all sure. is that jesus was born we are thinking about this uh, child that that brought good news to all mankind so the carol then plays a unifying role an inviting role for investors and for also those of us in that have you increased the vp to uh, uh carols before uh not not not, not yet not exactly it's planning, it's planning, planning. See, see the car i watch it from my house or wherever i am mm. you notice that it also sends a signal about the state mm. the carol points to the fact that this is a state that loves god Sure. And that is a major, major point. If notice that everywhere they are replicating the carol. Mm, they're trying to. They're trying to replicate. <laughs> mm. Copy it. You know, I noticed Ogun State has started, Abia State, and so many other states mm. are beginning to copy it. And I think we should not relent. Yeah, uh, we, we give the credence to an an is yeah. awesome man, great, awesome, awesome gift. Great, 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 great. I, I call him the only living encyclopedia. He's <laughs> <laughs> hearing, <is> hearing you. <laughs> you know, that's how I call him <laughs> the living encyclopedia. It's, it's a wonderful yeah, day. It's a wonderful <laughs> yes. Day. Okay, let's let's talk about um, this diaspora. I, I I had a question here. I wanted to ask uh, his lordship. Mm. The paradoxes of diaspora global identity. And, and and how it demystifies the the human rights claims of who I am in whatever form. How would you describe that? Well, let me let me say that uh, you are loving others. Like I said, does not. In fact, you can't even love others more than you love yourself, because the Bible said, "Love your neighbor as you love yourself." So, uh, I am supposed to have and be proud of my identity as an Aquibomite. Mm. First of all, as an Aquibomite, before even I'm proud of my identity as a Nigerian and as a world class citizen. So in that uh, trajectory, you see that if I already have crisis within me of of my identity, what they call you know personal identity crisis, mm. I will not be able to function um, in an environment where I can even be of usefulness to my generation so very important that you, you know who you are in christ jesus and know who you are at birth it's very important then you'll be able to identify with uh, other people someone just sent a message here on whatsapp and says uh, what about the exercise of diaspora voting right do they uh, yeah are they allowed important. to vote do they vote uh i think the new electoral law allows diaspora voting i'm yet to confirm that but i know that american citizens vote anywhere in the world mm -hmm. uh and don't forget like we're talking about diaspora agency they don't need to come and have an work in you here mm -hmm. the world is such a a, a, a small war now one of my one of my sister in law stays in Canada. She came to my house in Calabar. I saw her working on laptop. She said, Sorry, I'm in the office. I said, <laughs> I said Is it witchcraft? Or something? <laughs> she was working yeah. and she traveled around the world mm -hmm. and doesn't need to be in mm -hmm. that four square, yeah, um, that four square very, thing called um, office. So mm -hmm. we need to come out of that. The world has gone digital, mm -hmm. so digital, you don't have to 
uh, be sedentary in one place to be able to be functional mm -hmm. yeah well, I am still waiting for your calls. The numbers, like I said, to call are 0913-510-5983. 0913-510-5983. Or you can call us on 0703-046-0588. That is, we have a few more minutes before we end the program. Remember, today has been a special edition, so to speak, because uh, we couldn't be here I mean, for an unusual time uh, due to some reasons, of course, it's obvious. So please just join us. It's still the defense of the gospel. We're a little bit away from the airtime we used to have, two to three, but um, we can still have you on the program right now. So you can call us on 0913-510-5983 and 0703-046. Or five eight eight. You can as well send your messages to those lines. You can send via SNS or WhatsApp. We'll still get them and, and treat them as well. I'll say how my very distinguished guests uh, is Lordship Bishop Dr. M. I. Song and of course Reverend Chris Bo. They're all my guests. And uh, it's very interesting to know that they're also diaspora voices. <laughs> no doubt about that. So, what, what would be your advice? Let me find out. Let me start from you, Reverend Chris. What would be your advice for those in diaspora? especially as the state revolves another round of electing leaders for nation building this is about to happen in the next few months or maybe we, could, we should call it this now mm. yeah what will be the advice to those in diaspora as it is someone has just asked the question if they are allowed to vote but right now i'd like them to to tell us what the advice would be oh well my advice to all of us in the diaspora is begin to think home mm. think of how to contribute think of how to be a part of what is happening back home look if um, this young man I did not have that passion to the extent that in the presence of the king he mm. was sad mm. it became sad and the king noticed and the king noticed the sadness mm. that it is unusual mm. for well everything is here everything is working well nobody everything. should be sad before the king and this guy is sad because of the burden he That's had back home so we must develop that burden we must have that passion to contribute back home mm. that for me even if um like i said before the brick wall is there mm. let's look for how to break that wall mm. and be a part of what is happening back home think contribution don't think come and chop mm. approach to life they That's are chopping powerful. at home Can everybody's chop. chopping uh, they have excluded us let us go and see whether we can also join them to chop. Mm. First and foremost, I, I, I love value. I love those who create value. With all of us in the diaspora thinking of how to get back home and create value, you know, things come to those who create value. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's my advice to all of us. Don't think you're comfortable back home. I mean, where you are. Don't think you have everything running for you. Mm. Your businesses are running. After all, you're okay. You're okay. What else do I need? So please look beyond that let's go back home yeah interesting yeah uh, about voting about political participation mm. that will help birth the new dispensation let's let's look at this for instance if i refuse to say something and do something about who rules me mm. no matter how many years i stay in canada america lagos or switzerland i will be back you know the diaspora we are talking this is are not the diaspora that wait till when they die mm. they bring their corpse oh. then they'll do a burial across you say and here we keep our people case ever care canada no the diaspora we are talking about now they want to be part of what is happening in the environment most of us have built houses in our villages we have relations back home and we own we have villages so we should someone like me I suggest that a lot of diaspora during election because in the it's in the scripture they should change their INEC card what do you call it pvc change it to your word there's a room for transfer mm. transfer that thing to your word you you don't have business electing a governor in lagos or electing a governor in ocean state or electing a president in america all of us should be back home at matthew chapter 2 uh the bible says augusto caesar gave a decree mm. and said everybody should go home and be counted i believe that was more 
not only a national census but electoral census and also to be taxed and, I, and the bible says joseph and mary the mother the parents of jesus they they went home i think the time to go home is not only christmas the time to go home is not only during burial and and traditional marriage mm. also good time to go home is to move your transfer your uh, pvc yes. to your ward onto your local government to your village while you are, you are eating a dick and come on that friday evening on saturday morning okay. you queue up and vote because if a if an idiot rules you mm. or rules your local government or rules your state if you put your state in the hand of a man who doesn't fear god what does the bible say he said when the righteous rule the people rejoice but when the wicked rule the people mourn and how can i wait for a wicked man to rule in my state if i don't change transfer my my pvc my polling booth and go and vote in my local government i'll vote in Econo. i'll vote in my village yes i'll vote and the brick wall for those that I, are already i, I think i think that when they see me with voters card they will remove the brick wall <laughs> <laughs> but once they see me with voters card especially the politicians mm. they'll be very happy to remove the brick wall because my vote should count yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. i would like to say i well, appreciate you so much for your time uh today on the program as we come to the end of the program i would like to appreciate you too listeners uh, first of all let me thank uh, reverend uh, chris Bo. Thank you so much for your time Thank and for you. coming on the defense of the gospel today hopefully we'll have you again and again and again yeah, uh, because uh, you led us into so many things we need to you know uh, get down and see how we can bring them out Fantastic. and then you share with us as well Fantastic. thank you so much for your time sir. thank you so much and uh, much. bishop and my son we really appreciate you thank for you so much for diaspora voice and for everything you've been doing thank you so much as well thank you uh, so as a man there is whenever we come to this program like this uh, just before we go we'll take a little time at least 160 or 120 seconds to pray for the leadership of nigeria to pray for aquibum and the leadership of aquibum and of course of all the sponsors of uh, uh the defense of the gospel so i I'd like to give you the benefit of the mm. doubt to pray to do that for That's us uh, reverend Chris Moore. thank you let us pray father we thank you we thank you for Aquaibom State. We thank you for yes. all our brothers and sisters. We thank you for those in the in power. Thank you for our dear governor, mm -hmm. uh, Dickin Udom Udom Gabriel Emmanuel. Gabriel Emmanuel. Yes. We thank for all his lieutenants, and his wife, his yes. his wife and everyone that is mm -hmm. running the state with him. We ask, oh God, that you give them wisdom. Yes, Lord. The fear of God mm -hmm. to govern the people, the right direction. Give it to them, Lord. We pray for everyone that is connected with this state, those outside, those within the state, that everyone will be blessed. We pray for the churches. We pray for the ministers of the gospel in this state, that they will teach sound wisdom. They will teach the word of God to the people. We pray for everyone here, even in this station, Lord. We came here with so a lot of challenges. Give them wisdom. Mm. To handle the affairs of this station in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank I want to Lord. pray, oh God, also for the vision of this great vision. I lift up Bishop Dr. Ed, my soul to you, oh God. More wisdom, more understanding, more Amen. spiritual understanding Amen. in this direction, Lord. That He will you will guide him to implement this vision practically until the vision comes to materiality yes. in the name of jesus amen amen, amen. amen. thank you most profoundly once again for your time thank you for coming thank, thank you, you thank, thank you, you so fun. much my All pleasure right. so that's been our program for today many thanks for staying tuned look forward to having you again next thursday but do remember this particular edition will be coming with a rebroadcast on saturday four to five on radio and five to six on the television from every one of us, my name is Etu Ikon saying, God bless Nigeria, God bless Sequoia. Bye, bye for now. But it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared of the Father. Matthew chapter 20 verses 23. Vision Matthew 2023 is an interdenominational TV and radio program featuring seasoned gospel ministers and Christian leaders within and outside Aquibum with the aim of positioning the body of Christ to play our expected biblical roles towards good governance. Matthew 2023 that says that nobody can become anything 
until God gives them the ability. The Defense of the Gospel, the official partners of Vision Matthew 2023. It's powerful. The Bible said the way that sin made right to a man, the end may be death. Inspiring. God does not allow us, does not even permit us that somebody comes and just teach you a thing and you do not also go back, go back to back check back. the okay. scripture. Exactly. Inciting. Because he is eternally a loving God. So lifting. And fight the Amalek. And he went, told him, it was the failure of Saul that made Saul to be rejected. Bible focus program you can't afford to me. They speak out when anything happens in the in the country on the state. They still speak out. Said what you are doing is bad. Uh, Elijah told uh, uh, Ahab. What you are doing is bad. The defense of the gospel, an interdenominational TV and radio program that features seasoned gospel ministers with the aim of providing answers to current social, political, and spiritual issues and the role of the church, sponsored by Remedy for Victims of Religious Persecution and Discrimination, RVRPND. Airing live on AKBC TV and radio and on Star Times Channel 113. Time is 2 p.m. every Thursday. Repeat broadcast on Saturdays and on AKBC Radio by 4 p.m. and AKBC TV by 5 p.m. Watch live on Facebook at The Defense of the Gospel and on YouTube at G247 TV. Contact information WhatsApp 0913 510 5983. The Defense of the Gospel. The official partners of Vision Matthew 2023.